I never knew death until I saw the bombing of a refugee camp. Craters filled with disfigured elbows and splattered torsos, but no sign of a face, the only impression of fading screen. I never understood pain until a seven-year-old girl clutched my hand, stared up at me with soft brown eyes waiting for answers, and I didn't have any. I had dry pens in my back pocket that couldn't fill pages of understanding or resolution. In her other hand, she held the key to her grandmother's house. But I couldn't unlock the cell that cage trolled her brothers. They said we sling shot dreams so the other side will feel our father's presence. A craftsman built homes in areas where no one was building. And when he fell, he was silent. A 50 caliber bullet tore through his neck, shredding his vocal cords. Too close to the wall, his hammer must have been a weapon. He must have been a weapon encroaching on settlement hills and demographics. So his daughter studies mathematics. Seven explosions times eight bodies equals four congressional resolutions. Seven Apache helicopters times eight Palestinian villages equals silence in a second Nakba. Our birth rate minus their birth rate equals one sea and 400 villages re-erected. One state plus two peoples, and she can't stop crying. Never knew revolution or the proper equation. Tears at the pages with her fingertips, searching for answers but only has teachers. Looks to the sky and sees stars of David demolishing squalor with hellfire missiles. She thinks back words and memories of his last hug before he turned and fell. Now she pumps dirty water from wells while settlements divide and conquer. And her father's killer sits beachfront with European vernacular. She thinks back words while they think back words of obscene no notions and indigenous movements. This is our land, she said. She's seven years old. This is our land, she said. And she doesn't need history books or a schoolroom teacher. She has these walls, this sky, her refugee camp. She doesn't know the proper equation, but she sees my dry pens, no longer waiting for my answers, just holding her grandmother's key, searching for ink. <laughs>